Well hello again and welcome back to Posh Cat's Camping. Yes, I'm over at Simpsons, uh, can't keep away can I? I've uh, got another motorhome here that uh, is nearly new. Uh, and in fact, it does look like it's new. There's an 18 plate, so it's 2018. And uh, well, let's just go and have a quick look. Well, here we go. I don't think I've um, looked inside one of these on uh, Posh Cat's channel before. It's a Benamar and it's a Milo and uh, it's a 2018 so it's almost new it's, it's less than two years old um, the asking price for this is 49,000 pounds now for a, a nearly new van that's uh, that's got to be worth looking at uh, very smart and clean and nice alloy wheels and of course they've made these for the UK market so the uh, habitation door is where it should be Let's go and have a little look inside. There's a nice uh, first thing that strikes me is a nice window in the door with some pockets and a uh, fairly low-lying low chassis. There's only uh, the step here. There's no electric step, so it's not too high to climb in. And uh, immediately we see there's some beautiful light upholstery. Um, that I just feel like I want to touch. It really feels like leather. I'm not sure if it is, but it's uh, got that leather feel and some nice little uh, supporting cushions there and on the other side as well. So we've got um, an L shape uh, diner here with the table that folds. So uh, the table will fold right out. It's been in half at the moment. Now it looks to me like these are travelling seats so we've got two sets of seat belts there. No doubt the cushion just here would come out which allows us to uh, seat two passengers as well as the driver and the passenger in the front here. Now we're on a Fiat Ducato and uh, we've seen plenty of these cabs now haven't we? They don't change much. All the cab blinds are there and above the cab one of these lovely opening windows throwing lots of light into the van uh, storage uh, above or just below the window there above the cab and uh, extending right round to the side here so there's plenty of room there to store things and uh, a nice touch here is the pockets in the back of the seats quite like that um, those seats will swivel of course and make a nice lounge and you can sit uh, I would think you could sit uh, what two, two three four five six people quite comfortably in that lounge um, windows here it's a small window this side here has got the blind down but that's an opener um, with nets and uh, uh, like a, a curtain and uh, two lockers above and there's plenty of headroom here and the reason I say that is because these lockers are on the underside of a fixed bed or drop down bed um, we'll call them a fixed bed they're a drop down bed and if I step back you can see the shape of the drop down bed it's a good size double and uh, that bed will come down right from uh, from up there to a working height down here. Now in the kitchen, a decent size uh, uh, little sink there which is stainless steel, a couple of power points, a nice window for the kitchen and a two gas, two burner gas hob with one electric ring. So you've got the best of both worlds there and a little combination grill and oven underneath and below that a nice cupboard with two shelves. And uh, there's a uh, 12 volt uh, point just there. And more cupboards and storage around here. The sun's a bit bright. Suddenly the sun's got in the way. Mustn't complain about it though. So we've got uh, your cutlery drawer and then more drawers below that. Very nice. 
so just to the right of the kitchen we've got a sliding pantry with uh, lots of places for bottles and cans and uh, next to that at the top here a microwave oven so as you can see lots of equipment there's an open uh, space storage space at the top there um, as there is above the uh, the um, hob here there's uh, incidentally this uh, little unit here is an extractor as you can see the, there's an air duct there that extracts the uh, steam from when you're cooking so again nice little touch um, fridge freezer you know how much I like these separates the free freezer at the top fridge at the bottom and uh, and then to my right we've got the washroom now this is a pretty generous washroom uh, usual electric flush toilet to the right here big mirror and mirrored uh, cupboards above nice window which has uh, got a uh, uh, smoked glass in it and uh, a nice round basin there with a follow through um, worktop for putting your uh, soaps and things on and then just below the cupboard, it's a little step up into the washroom and there's a little cupboard below as well for your cleaning materials I guess um, and then to the left here we've got a shower cubicle now the nice thing about this is it is closed you know completely closed off so you've got a folding door here so that uh, just the shower cubicle gets wet and nothing else and there's a little uh, step there that's probably where the wheel is but it's not too intrusive with the duckboard as well and of course a little pop-up um, roof light as well for ventilation and then where are we sleeping well we've got seen the drop down bed already but uh, we have a double bed across the back of the van here and uh, this is a good size double bed um, got uh, power points up the top there for your TV presumably and then uh, your headboard would be on my left here where the window is and uh, you can imagine laying in bed there with a big flat screen TV on that back wall couldn't you <laughs> my imagination's gone wild but yeah, it's super little bedroom here. It's a little high up, but I think the reason for that is uh, a garage is uh, below here. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Three nice big lockers and a nice big roof light for ventilation uh, with blackout blind and fly screens. And uh, a, a privacy curtain as well, so that if you do have your children or guests um, on the other, in the other part of the bedroom, Okay, so uh, we have another wardrobe and a uh, good size wardrobe in here. Hanging space with, with a shelf at the top and two drawers at the bottom. Very good. Now, who spotted the uh, deliberate mistake? I think that uh, we've got a, a double bed which drops down and a double bed at the back and that's your full berth whether or not this uh, lounge would convert into another bed I don't think it would but uh, I'm sure you could make it do it somehow but that's not the um, the idea of this van I think so we have um, iNet Truma iNet heating and the controls are here and uh, all the other controls are over the door which is a standard place for it to be and uh, also a swing out TV bracket mounted quite high up here so that you can uh, presumably watch that from the lounge or in, in the drop down bed. Surprisingly spacious, quite a long van and I'll put the uh, details on screen once I have the dimensions. But uh, very very clean, hardly used. I mean you can see it has been owned. Um, but uh, I suspect that's only been out for a season or so. 
let's have a look around the outside. Now you can see how clean this van is. Um, somebody's fitted a, a security bar to, for extra protection that goes right over the door. And there's the uh, toilet empty and the WC empty and locker. Now here's the door for the uh, garage. You can see from the height of that, you can easily get bicycles in there and uh, or electric bikes. And I suspect that's what they've done before. I can't get in there to show you, unfortunately it's locked. But uh, above that, we've got the Fiamma uh, canopy that uh, draws that pulls out to give you plenty of shade. Around the back, no cycle rack, but if you're putting the bikes inside, I don't suppose you'd need it. And a reversing camera up top. And coming round to this side, again, another opening to get those bicycles in or out of the uh, garage. Nice alloy wheels. And here's the LPG locker for your gas. And water filling point and uh, electric hookup. There we go. And that is a cracking van. And uh, it's a 2.3 diesel, 150 brake horsepower, and uh, for 49,000 pounds, that is as good as new. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed that quick look around a nearly new motorhome. Uh, my thanks go to Simpsons again for allowing us to film and uh, providing the tea and coffee whilst I wait for my motorhome to be serviced. Till next time, it's bye bye for now.